Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin Psychic Medium. Welcome to a collective love reading for all signs and any sign that you may be thinking of. Please use this reading to manifest the love that you were worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that has come into your life. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. So grateful that you've been guided here. Spirit, I am listening for you now. Please guide me. I am listening. What, what do you need to share with us? What messages of love do you have for us today? Let's see what we have. Repairing the veil. Forgiveness. The number 45. Forgiveness. Is there somebody or something? How about forgiving ourselves? Sometimes we're so hard on ourselves that we just need to remember that we're human and we're not perfect and that we don't have to prove ourselves to anybody, Spirit just said. So don't worry about what you're doing. You're, you're doing all the right things and just be yourself, I guess. Be yourself and be guided. Sky writing the fates. I like this. I almost feel like I want to say the fates are on your side, the number 49, that it's almost written in the sky. It's written in the universe. Um, just definitely this feeling of, you know, fate, destiny, um, that you want you want to know that there's something else beyond you that that's going to happen well you just have to believe um and we do believe here or you wouldn't be watching me uh so we do believe we believe in destiny and fate so we're going to keep that hope alive and then i have the number 36 lost in space i need direction so it's okay to ask for help it's okay to um, ask spirit for guidance. And what happens is spirit will put the person in front of you that is meant to guide you. And I guess I want to use my own um, calling because this is a calling as a spiritual guide, as a psychic medium, that there's a million people in the world. And for whatever reason, there's certain people that click on my channel. I pop up in front of them. <laughs> They've never seen me before. They hear my voice. They hear my message. And they're saying that was not a coincidence. So put it out into the universe that you be guided to the person who has the messages for you, whether it's me or another spiritual um, guide, that spirit and helps you find somebody. It could be a friend, a family member. It could be somebody to talk to that when you are needing direction in your life and you are looking for some confirmations that spirit puts the right person in front of you. I think that's so important. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. I'm grateful that you've been guided here. Hopefully there's something that I say to you today that helps you continue um, getting the answers that you're seeking. Spirit, please share with me what is it that you need us to know. Let's see what we have. I have a king of pentacles. I have a, a knight of pentacles. I have a page of cups. Definitely feeling some new feelings here. Um, definitely feeling like I have moved on. I know emotionally I'm in a better place. Spirit just said, I, I, when I pulled this one over, I loved this little seedling that's growing and, and he's kind of holding onto it tight, knowing that there's something within you that's growing, making you feel even more and more secure. And sometimes when we get in that boat and we walk away from our past and we move forward, um, it's interesting because in this deck, usually they're not looking in this direction. They're looking in the other direction in, in most of the decks, but she is looking in this direction. And it is a little bit of, I do still look at my past, but I also know that I'm moving forward at the same time. And I know that I'm growing. Um, it, it could be an acceptance of your past. It could be an acceptance of, I know I need to grow. I know I need to do some healing. I know that I am working on myself, Spirit just said. So good for you if that's something that you're very much aware of that you know that you're working on. They're saying the changes are coming and the changes are being noticed within you. So people are starting to notice that you are stronger, you're more capable is the word that they gave 
me, whether it's you're on your own, you stand on your own two feet, you have um, more confirmation, you know, that you stand your ground. I guess I want to say it that way. And then I have this beautiful page coming in that I guess I'm open is how I feel like I'm open to what love has for me. And I can I, I like the fact that he can almost see his reflection in the water, that when I look inside of myself, I can see some of the emotions that I want to come forward. And it could be as simple as I just want to be happy. OK, I just want more happiness in my life. I, I want less pain. I want to be myself. Um, I'm not asking for a lot. I'm just asking for uh, more happiness is how I feel. So, of course, you're entitled to that. We're all entitled to be happy in this lifetime. And spirit wants that for you also. I have a ten of cups. Look at this. This is coming into me as not only a baby, um, but a sense of rebirth, okay? Not necessarily a new baby, although some of you may be having a child with somebody, but a sense of rebirth, a sense of new life that is being um, coming into you. And it is a sense of starting over. It is a sense of a miracle is how I feel like this, this particular connection could be the best thing that's ever happened to you. Or I just know that that fate and destiny uh, has brought us together. And you may be very um, aware of it, that you are grateful for it is how I feel. And I have the chariot. Look at this. It's like pushing forward. Look at the dragons. This is, this is such a great deck. Um, so pushing forward, holding on, a little bit of holding on for dear life as I'm moving forward, um, because sometimes I don't know what's on the other side. I don't know what I'm heading into, but I trust. I trust the universe has my back, and I trust that um, it, it's always, I always feel like it's better than where I've been. You know, it's always better than where I've been. I have a moon, so you do have some fears, but you're pushing through those, you're working through those, and that's okay. We all have fears. I have an emperor and a queen of cups. Now that just came into me as a very strong, determined energy that is going to love you for who you are. And I also like the way that she's living, listening to this conch shell, I guess it is, that this person listens. This person listens to your voice. They listen to what's important to you, that they're not overruling you, so to speak, that they are um, giving you a, ch a chance to uh, be yourself and to um, speak your mind and to have your say. And there's definitely a feeling of that this person respects you as they're, they're listening to you. So I got all of that out of that little shell. And I'm grateful for that because I guess spirit wanted to prove that to me that you have this, um, you have their ear, I guess I want to say it that way. You have their ear and they respect you for that. They they love to listen to you. It could be vice versa. You love to listen to the sound of their voice. You like what they say. Um, they guide you. They advise you. They are your um best friend, you know, it could be anything from a very intense conversation to very lighthearted and lots of fun. So, but the bottom line is they don't just, um, they hear you is, is what's more important. They hear what you have to say. They don't just listen and then forget it. You know, they're hearing you. Let's see what else they want you to know about this connection magic whispers. Oh, I like that. Look at this little fairy. Listen to intuitive nudges to embrace your creativity. Trust the unseen forces. Listen to your intuition. Boy, that's a big one. You, do we listen to our intuition? How many times have you said to yourself, I should have watched out for the red flags. The red flags were there, but I didn't pay attention to them because spirit will nudge you. Spirit will tell you that we're moving in the wrong direction or we're moving in the right direction and that this is good. So you have to know yourself better than anyone else and you have to pay attention to your own inner voice and your own intuition. So 
get to know that <laughs> sometimes it comes into you like a, a, a you know lightning strike um, and it's a red flag and other times it's just a little tap on the shoulder that says hey take a second look at this um, they said something weird it's not in alignment with other things they've said you know so you want to be very much aware of those moments that your inner voice talks to you. I think that's important. I have a cancer, June 22nd to July 22nd, could be a cancer. Uh, gentle ways, cultivate your connections for emotional fulfillment, nurture and protect these connections. So cancer signs, of course, are very, could be a cancer sun, moon rising, are known for their emotions, um, known for being very emotionally connected to others. So if they are a cancer that's coming towards you or you happen to be um, a, a cancer, then sometimes you have to protect those emotions and you have to know you have a tendency to fall in love very quickly and give your heart very quickly. So that could be a spirit's way of saying, just be aware that you have a tendency to lean um, very, for all people, everybody, not just a cancer, but that you have a tendency to let your emotions um take over and they want you to make some good decisions, you know, just not follow your heart, but listen to your mind as well. Many facets. Look at all the different aspects to get perspective, gain profound insights. So you do want to look at relationships or a particular energy that's come in and come into your life from different different perspectives. What's best for them? What's best for you? Uh, where are we headed? What is um, what is this? Why is this connection come together to begin with? Is it long term? Is it short term? What do we both want? So we want to look at it from a lot of different um, angles for sure. And then let's get one more. A sturgeon moon in August. Deeper waters. Tap into your reserves and maintain your course. Endurance carries you. No matter what, I like this kind of shark energy. Um, a little bit of I'm going to protect myself no matter what. I'm not going to. A little bit of a territorial feeling just came into me that um, this is my space. This is These are my children. Uh, this is my money. So a little bit of a territorial energy as well because you've been, you're so used to taking care of yourself that it is a little bit intimidating to have somebody come into your space. Um, even though you are looking at it. But I would say, of course, you know, take care of yourself first, but also be very much aware that you are smart enough that you can trust your own intuition, that you can trust even your own emotions, and that you can look at somebody new coming into your life, even from a different perspective, that this time around could be different from the past. And I think that that's really important because sometimes we feel like we attract the same energy over and over again, and we're not going anywhere, but that isn't necessarily true. We're learning every time and we are getting smarter and wiser as we go. Let's see what else they have for you today. Spirit, tell me about what's coming towards us. You are, you know, this reading is a lot about you, which is great. All of my readings are for you. So this reading is more for you to today to identify within yourself, your, your weaknesses and your strengths when it comes to a relationship and just be very much aware of, of, you know, that you have a tendency to give your heart before you think things through or that you have a tendency to um, defend yourself um, before somebody has even hurt you because somebody hurt you in the past. So just be aware of who you are and um, I guess how you react to new relationships, something like that. I have a six of pentacles. Beautiful. I have a queen of swords. Look at you. You're wise. You're smart. You got this. I have an eight of wands. Eight of wands. And I have an ace of cups. Look at this. Look at the energy uh, overflowing. It's just my feelings are overflowing. It's 
uh, it's just a flowing energy. <laughs> I guess I want to say it that way. But I do feel success. I do feel like I'm making up my mind. I do feel like I am moving forward more than anything. So I think that that's the most important. And it just came into me as with or without someone in my life, I feel like I am successful. Okay. I feel like I'm making good choices for me and I feel that nothing is holding me back. Spirit just said, so a little bit of, I love myself first, which is okay. You know, these readings aren't necessarily all about, um, what somebody else is feeling for you. And right now in today's reading, it is a feeling of, I love myself first and I'm going to continue to love myself first. So that is important. Here's an ace of swords. I've made up my mind that no matter what, I am going to put myself first. And yes, I want somebody in my life, but not to the detriment of somebody that would hurt me or uh, be take something away from me that I'm enjoying right now because you've built up a life for yourself, um, even as an individual um, without somebody. You're an empress. There's this, I love myself first. Um, I'm going to put myself first. Doesn't mean you're not capable of loving somebody else. That, and that's not what I'm saying. Of course not. You have this beautiful energy if I want to give love. And I have a lot of love to give. But I'm only going to give love to the right person because I, I'm not going to waste my time or I'm not going to um, you know, struggle, but here's right. Let's go all the way back to the beginning where spirit shared with me, um, this sense of that the love is written in the universe and here's my wheel of fortune and fate and destiny have brought us together. And here is this beautiful ace of cups that says that I'm overwhelmed with emotion and, Unless I'm falling for somebody and unless I am really feeling genuine feelings for somebody, I'm not going to be in a relationship that I owe it to myself to take care of myself, be proud of myself. Um, I'm not going to be in a relationship just for the sake of being in a relationship because I trust fate. I trust destiny to bring me this kind of one of a kind, one in a lifetime love. And that is what I'm going to hold on to. So this is a beautiful reading. And and because it is about you, it is about you. And it is about you trusting um everything, trusting spirit, trusting that you're on the right path, trusting and believing that things can always get better. Let's, um, let's wrap up this reading with a angel message today. I always like to do these and I haven't used these in a little while and I feel drawn to them. So let's see what their angel number and angel message is for you today. And I want you to continue to love yourselves first. I think that that was the message. Let's see what they are saying. I've got 666. I am centered. Beautiful. A wake up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. That the choices and decisions that you make are for your present self and your future self, and that I'm going to make some really good decisions for me. And I think that that's what spirit wanted for you today. So we're going to put this out to the universe. I want you to all have an amazing day. I want to thank spirit for these messages. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like button that really helps my channel grow and comment below if you'd like to book a private reading with me please check out my website that's the only way you can book a reading is through my website kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com